Okay, this is the second update to the skeletonizer. And in the previous video, I showed how you can build a skeleton. And in this video, I want to show you a new feature which allows you to attach images to the skeleton. So I'm opening up um, an old skeleton to save time. If you have not uh, built a skeleton before, you use these. Um, three lines to connect them and you use the edit mode to delete or change the size of each line and in image mode we can select the line and click on it and then a file and we get a new window at the right side so I'm removing the background because I use paint to draw this uh, image so this is the first uh, figure that will be rigged in um, rigged in um, this tool. Um, now I just uh, go quickly through each of the other bones. If you have used Stickman, you have seen this uh, window before. It's located in the file port uh, picture. And this technique is also very similar to the earlier versions of um, Stickman and I think it goes back to the Cutout Studio. So when you place them you can see how it fits with the with the skeleton I didn't uh, really thought about uh, why I selected a skeleton <laughs> to be the first the character well it's after all it's called skeletonizer so uh, for the foot we have the same side we're pointing it in the same direction and um, here we, at the arm we have um, pull for the hand and one for the thumb I want to make this longer so I'm not attaching this image yet. I want to make the thumb a bit longer, both sides. So I'm saving this over my old skeleton. And then I'll try again. Uh, at the right side I want to flip it so only a few things left now and uh, now we have come to the body, and this is a rigid body, so I can select any of these lines to attach image. Um, I select the body image, and I place the points the same location. 
so they are in so I'm looking up my uh, window here to see how it fits I remove the background and uh, now we are finished uh, setting up the figure so I click create and I can go with debug to move the figure and I can turn this uh, skeleton off with the switch, uh, switch tool you can select the switch here if you have multiple switches so back to the control points move Okay, so if um, so to save this, I click save. Um, I save this as skeleton. And to use it, I can open up Stickman. And then I locate the skeleton in with this button. And in the switch tool, I can select lines and then other keyframe and click to toggle the display of the skeleton. So when I choose control points, I can create an animation and see how it works so you notice that this <coughs> the neck is coming in the front of the head and you can adjust this by right clicking here and choosing edit font colors and then select the set orders and then you can move uh, reorder using this but uh, when you reload the figure you will lose these uh, settings so the best thing, thing is to do is to go in Elemento and you have the set order node and then you choose uh, the matrix layer that you want to move so let's locate this is a head and you want this in front of the neck which you see here so we move this up um, <coughs> I want the arms in front of the head um, um, I want the legs um, also behind so I can move this move this up and um, when you test it you see this leg is front of the body and this leg is behind the body it's difficult to see so I turn this off perhaps I should have this arm at the back uh, back side of the body so this you can see this uh, matrix tells you which body part you are using the green um, arrow the green um, or the x-axis is pointing in that direction so I want this to be backmost
Okay, so let's um, let's examine that. So the thumb should be at the front. So let's find the thumb. Move it on. Now this looks better. And we have the arm is going back, the body. The head is front of the body, but the neck is behind. This arm is um, in front of the body. And then the leg is also behind and um, that's everything as it should be okay so this video is getting long so I'm just saving this and I can go back to stickman and reload the figure oh no I have the better um, I have the right order all the elements. So this is a simple way you can create um, figures with um, a paint or another drawing software and use the skill to master to to read your uh, characters quickly and then use Elemental to find adjust the, the figure. So uh, my name is Nilsen, the creator of this software Stickman Elemental and um, uh, please leave a comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching.